right welcome to the channel so today I'm going to show show off a product that I've managed to get with the funds from my YouTube channel uh, so thank you to everybody that watches the channel now I've, I've got a main PC for editing uh, my YouTube videos uh, stuff like that so when I'm on the road uh, I was thinking of getting a laptop but I saw this come up now the full package is here so the screen the keyboard and this is actually a mini gaming PC but with the specs in it uh, it's got the Ryzen uh, 5600U so that's got the Vega 7 graphics in it it can play most games also at uh, medium settings very compact it takes 19 volts power so you will need a power source uh, maybe one of the, the power banks you know the, the jackeries or a bluity or as such now the advantage of this over the laptop apart from the power is that if something happens to the keyboard then you can just change the keyboard if something happens to the screen then you can just change the screen and so on so that that is a great advantage plus the spec on this if you was going to get a laptop at the same spec with a full package it costs twice as much so all the links are separated in the description we'll go through one at a time so we'll start off with the actual PC then the keyboard and then the the, the screen so as you can see it has three settings on it so you've got your silent so this is if you're watching a film or if you're just streaming the internet you can power it down so it doesn't have to use the fan it doesn't need a lot of processing power to to run them programs uh, you've got auto so then it'll pick between silent and performance and then you have got performance which the fan is quite loud on it but it does give great performance so for gaming or for editing you'd have it on performance um, it does it all lights up obviously it's a gaming one so all this lights up it looks quite uh, snazzy to tell you the truth it's got audio out 3.1 USBs and a type C on the front and another two uh, 3.1 USBs on the back you got your LAN you got your 19 volt DC you got your HDMI and then you've got your the other monitor so say a high refresh rate monitor so you could actually have two running off this so you could actually watch a film on one screen and then game on the other or edit on the other and so on and so forth so it's really accessible as well and upgradable uh, it's magnetized on the back so that comes off clicks back on really easily and what's in the uh, the guts of it is this is a 512 gigabyte SSD so really quick Windows processing everything's really quick then you've got 16 gigabyte of DDR4 running at 3200 Hertz which is very fast and these are upgradable DDR4, DDR4, M2 SSD, M2 SSD so you could put another 515 or 1 terabyte in there so it's it's future proof I should say there's a lot on it and a good advantage of it as well is that if you've got one drive whatever's on your your main PC laptop it's all accessible uh, wherever you are it also comes in a one terabyte uh, I'm gonna leave that for future proofing and 32 gigabyte of RAM so the wireless internet on this is Wi-Fi 6 I believe something like that so yeah it, it's fast it's it's for the size of it it's got a, it's got a big bang on my editing software which is video pad it's it's crazy fast it's as fast as my big PC it's just when you start adding really really intense effects it does take that a little bit longer than my PC because it's got a dedicated graphics card but for what it is it's uh, 
a great portable PC and look at the size of it now the keyboard I picked this up which is compatible with Windows Android iOS this is also in the description up to 10 meters working distance so you can be set away from uh, the actual mini PC now this is really well made also magnetic it's got metal hinges on it it's got your touch touchpad which does a lot of two finger touches one finger two finger swipes three finger swipes up brings all kinds of it's, it's like sign language on a, on a pad uh, which is quite a good touch you charge it by a micro usb that's how you pair it and you switch it on and off yeah they're a bit like ipad buttons separated have a good touch to them and yeah that's as simple as that in comparison to Near enough the same size so we'll get onto the screen and then we'll get it set up you can get bigger sizes but there's a reason why I've put this size and I'll show you that in a second it's got speakers integrated uh, I think it's full HD it's not it's not UHD this one but you can get that size just put your stand which I believe goes from uh, something like that I think you can actually mount it another way as well DVI VGA HDMI DC headphones power auto up down and menu the reason I've got this size is the next thing is there's quite a few bits you see so I've got <coughs> this case and it fits in perfectly I think it's the 10 inch one so that goes in there and then I put the keyboard in there the stand falls down I put that in there put the lead in put that one in there I put all that in one side it does fit you probably get the 11.1 inch into this I'll put this in the description as well. Rose compartments in it. And then put this in there. So there, it's all together. So let's set it on. We'll push it in. I've got it on performance, so the fan's going to be uh, quite loud. I'll let you hear the fan and then we'll put it on silent. It is quick, it's pretty nippy. There you go, it's on. Let's go on to YouTube. I'll show you my channel. That's my personal channel, Metal Detective. Little adventure. So you can see how quick it is. And yeah, it's very, very nippy and is perfect for editing and gaming. I've got my Steam account on there as well. 
Uh, so, I mean, you could actually put some external speakers in if you wanted, or headphones. Uh, so that's YouTube. Let's just see how quick Steam loads up. Can take quite a while because of the updates. Is it doing? Yeah, there you go. My internet catch is quite quite nippy. You can see how quiet it is. That's on performance. It does boot up when you're editing um, and you're gaming. Uh, really, on something like this, I'd probably just put it onto silent. The video pad. New project. So files. Is there files in here? Documents, downloads, pictures, videos. No, I've got nothing in there at the moment. Uh, I will be editing this video that you what you've just watched will be edited on this. So, yeah, thanks for coming along and uh, put us a thumbs up if you could. Uh, be much appreciated.